Hey yo, 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 what's up? Uh, see we have to be here. Like a pin name slick bag, a trap called Chris Samuel L. Jackson. See the whole thing. Who am I? Do you get us getting sugar? Who am I? Make love to a fella in a rush. <laughs> Now I'm still with DB, man. Today is the day we have been waiting for. Uh, I'm moving the store from the old premises to the Lagazi Street. So, and obviously I'm late as a motherfucker. But, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, man. For those who don't know. Uh, Sibu FTP is a boy from Soweto, born and bred. Not you country bumpkins who come and live here and talk about the niggas, nah, motherfuckers. From here, we are the bar, But the bar was still nice, you know. We were just in the mood to see, but it's pretty fresh. Uh, boy from Soweto, man. Always been a creative. Always been in the arts and fashion and what have you. So, yeah. So today, trying to get this paper, yeah? Getting in at the box room on Villagaza Street. Let's hope this happens on time though, as well. Yeah, obviously, this is my collection here. Yeah. I'm a lover. Yeah, talking about myself, I'm a lover of accessories, yeah? So people are always like, is this not a mission? Don't you get tired? Like, how long does it take you to wear your rings? And it's always women who ask me this. And I say to them, you put makeup on every day. I can guarantee you it takes longer for you to put your makeup on than it does for me to put on my rings. I wish I had a stopwatch here to time. I think the last time we timed how long it takes, it was about a minute. A minute and 20 seconds? Somewhere there. But it depends obviously on the morning I'm having, how quickly stuff happens. And you know now because I'm late. I'm just panicking. But today is the move. So basically, we're gonna go to the store, set up the stuff. Right now, what I'm doing today is basically just setting up like a sample range in the store because the main range all of it's gonna be in by the launch. Yeah, by launch date. We're having a launch end of the month. So that's when the whole range will move in. And I guess the rest you shall see as we go along, yeah? I feel like there's a ring missing here. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I got a new ring the other day. Ah, uh, that's why. The system is all discombobulated here. I forgot to factor that one in. Don't you love that? It's a moustache. How many rings do you have? Ah, uh, oh damn, I don't know. I guess we can count. Eh? <laughs> I guess we can count. Like I'm saying, I got one the other week. I, I, I never check actually. Or don't you love that? <laughs> I think now, I think now even because of the camera, I'm working slower. Okay, good to go. So this is my old room actually. It's my mini studio slash office. When I'm too lazy to go to the main studio, this is where the small magic happens. This place is tiny. How did I ever fit in here? Jesus! And I decorated all this by hand. I use fabric to do this. Just take fabric, dip it in paint. And it does the things to make the pods to be done. So yeah, we turn this into an office. So when I'm not at the box shop, 
Emerald Studio, Paper Wake and Admin. I'm trying. I suck at that for now, but it's still matter. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. And that's a wrap, yo. So the transport is here and we're out. I guess our steam is laser steamer then. I don't know. But it's fine. If not, I'll go past the studio and after the setup, I'll go and get an iron there. But the other stuff is already in the VHL. And we got these guys here. Yes, guys, meet John. He's white, so I feel like he needs a white name. Yeah, man. So this is the old space right here. As you can see, even by the fucking walls, they're cheating and shit. This is real piece. What's that thing with TV? Past, future? This is it. So, what I did was, for all the clients who didn't know we were moving, I left my numbers on here. I asked the landlord if I could leave my numbers here. So, because a lot of clients wouldn't show, and you know, some of them are on social media. So, yeah, until they get a new tenant, I guess, my numbers will still be there. And yeah, man, goodbye to the small shop, and welcome to the box shop. Yeah, it was nice, it was fun, it was fun. We were here for a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half, because it's second year birthday, and in the past six months, this is when we're going to be launching at the box shop. So, but we're still from Earth, right? It's the view in store. Yeah. A lot of memories here, no? Hey, dude, a lot of memories. I, I feel like our weekends used to be epic. Because on weekends, everyone would come and shop. I feel like everyone could come and shop on weekends, but now shop because we're right next to the bottle store. So the shopping entails us buying a six pack, chilling outside here, you know, under the nice shade, and we're on the main road, you know. Just, yeah, man. I think I would miss this place, actually. Now that I think about it. <laughs> It was fun, it was fun. But you know, on to big and better things. Growth. Keep it moving, eh? I guess we out. Yo, for the old. So, I was saying, you were, talk, you were talking about the hard knock. So, when the store failed and whatnot, and shit just went AWOL. Yeah. And I was like, nah, if I'm gonna move into a better place. Sure. I saw the conversation over here. Look, dude, like, you don't need to know the details. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All I was, like right now, all I'm really saying is, you're in the school of the hard knocks. There was no ways that shop wouldn't fail. It was gonna fail. Yeah. It had to fail. The real lesson is, did you have the guts to pick yourself up and move on? And, and just grow. Do you know what I'm saying? Straight. Yeah. If you didn't have the guts, the fucking grit to get up and go to the fucking box shop, that is next level. The box shop, from this to the box shop. Nah, dude, this was a waste of your time. I guess it was an experiment. We had to see if it would Look, it wasn't an experiment. Because that's not what you set out to do initially. You set out to open a shop and make that motherfucker rock. What you didn't know that you were gonna fall flat on your face. I knew that. But, you know, I couldn't burst well, your bubble. Thank you for telling me. Shit. I couldn't yeah. burst your bubble. <laughs> it's your bubble. It had yeah. to burst on its own. It's for me but, to see. But my point is, this was an experience, an important experience. Yeah. On, in, on your journey in the school of the hard knocks. Do you feel me? Natasha, brother. Yeah. You're in the school the of the thing. hard knocks, boy. I remember like, the last time you said this to me, you're like, dude, you've been to this shit. You are in this. This is, this is nothing. You told me this. You said like, you've been to this shit, man. You're, you're, telling you, you're always going to take hits. Do you yeah. feel me? Like, you're always going to take hits. At some point, you become smart enough to to, to to choose the hits you take. You want to take, yeah? You know Calculated saying? risk. You, the risk is there. The hits are there. You're gonna get your ass beat. You're gonna fall. You're gonna break something. You're gonna bleed. You're gonna cry. Which un undoubtedly you did. <laughs> no, don't cry. But you know, break bones, yeah. 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 But in a way, you know, that's broke. No, no, right. Thank you. I'm glad 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 I'm
change his car, change I can't get a fashion. So yeah guys, the shop has moved to the box shop in Villa Gazin. In big rock we yeah. So I think he's a full line. Yeah, so we should get some smokes. Oh that looks clean. That's a motherfucker. Can yeah, anyone discuss that? Can I say motherfucker? I don't know.
Okay guys, I'm gonna have to wipe these. I don't know if you wanna get that in short or whatnot. Or save your energy for when I put the clothes on. Oh, I fucked with these ones, no? Do you see that? Do you see that? I don't know if you wanna talk to me. Yeah. Like, awesome. oh, God. I was like, how does it feel? So when you pop it out, it pops itself up. In high school, I used to look different, and people were like, ah, for the bourgeois. And in high school, I said my last African speech in metric was called 4DB. I was they were like, you must speak about your future and blah 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 and this and that. So I said to my African teacher, Yefro Delana, I remember her very well, that when I finish school and I have a clothing line, my clothing line is going to be called 4DB, for the bourgeois. And then over the years, it evolved to FDB for the bourgeois. And then now it's just like uh, FTP. This when people ask me what does FTP mean, I say freshmen drink beer, farmers don't bars, fucking daily bastards for the bourgeois, for the babies, fucking drunk bongani, whatever. So the launch of the FTB Human Store at the box shop is going to be happening this month. I feel like I shouldn't give a date because, yeah. Well, fuck it, you're going to see anyway. Sunday, 27th of October, we are launching at the box shop. So the Human Store by itself is interplanetary, so it can move if and when it suits. But I feel like now we have found the perfect home that mostly aligns with what we're doing, our values, our ideas, our because. FTB Human Store in its entirety is not just clothing, it's the lifestyle. And yes, all you motherfuckers say you're a lifestyle, half of you are not. Stop using the word. Stop it. Stop it. But it truly and actually is. It encompasses. You know what? Just, just, just keep watching, you will see. I can't explain it. That's the lesser way. Inspired by the boy Cheech. Inspired by the Mexican Day of the Dead. It's something El Muerte. Lieri El Muerte? I don't know what it is. So, the best thing about this jacket right here, this is the winter color. So, it sits right just like that right there. That's the winter color. And when you buy the jacket, you can get. Let's do the color thingy again. So, I was saying, this is the winter color for the winter hands. So, it sits like this right here. But now you can wear it in different ways. You can wear it color up like that there. Your hands are all over the place. I want to see the jacket, Sibu. Alright. Okay, this way. Nice. Yeah. So you can wear it up like that there. Or you can flip down the collar. So to have a little bit, you know. Not so much on your face. And obviously you can just wear them down. So for summer you get a whole different color that comes with the jacket. 
and you remove this one completely, it comes off. And then you just put in the summer color. Some boss has shit right there. Just leave it like that. I wanna. Yeah. Okay, I can see it. Yeah. Sorry, man. Uh, I need that the chart, eh? Yeah, you know this kitchen. No, 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 no. Oh, so, wait, wait, wait. So, get it from the back again. All right. This is the piece right here. What piece is that, bro? Ah, this was just my showstopper from Fashion Week, and I actually made only one, obviously, but I sold one to some artist guy. He wanted to perform in it, so I made a second one. Just to see how you know I was experimenting. So just wanna see how it sits on the mannequin. Like. Move your head. Scale wise, did you got you? Ah, oh, damn it. Alan, dislocate the damn girl. Okay. Jesus. So much makeup in this thing. Fashion show because I've got the I've, I've got the model smoking on a vape, right? So now you can't see the face, but just the smoke coming out of the face is so fucking awesome. Wow. Yeah, I think we're good. It's just a matter of me doing more stock and adding out in here. 